Hello, nerds. Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your week in Nerdnum Movies edition for the week of August 13th, 2018. This week in movies, we've got a lot of interesting Sony Spider-Man news and other things that aren't Sony or Spider-Man. So let's hit the intro. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. And I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander of War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me and talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. You're listening to Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Before we jump into the news, guys, we got to get through the sponsor. This week, just like the last few times we've done sponsors, is sponsored by Mercari and Poshmark. Uh, I'm probably going to keep pushing these until we clear a little bit more of our stuff out. We've been selling stuff, so the, the inventory has changed. But definitely go check out the links in the description. Uh, you're seeing images cycling through on the screen. Some of the things we have up on those... Uh, those sites that their apps really so Mercari and Poshmark again are our sponsors uh, and I was just informed by my beautiful girlfriend that if you mention the show if you say that you heard about it on Generally Nerdy then you will get an extra discount on top of what we're already really just giving stuff away so go check it out the links again are down in the description and now let's jump into the news okay so let's clear out all of the Sony stuff first First on our Sony list of movie news is Craven the Hunter. Uh, they are really looking to expand this spider-less universe uh, really, really fast. I wish I had written down the list of all of the movies that they have that are Spider-Man adjacent. Uh, Craven the Hunter is the newest announcement, kind of, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, then we have the, the uh, Night watch we have uh, there's like six i'm uh, i again i wish i had uh, written them down but it's in the... anyway so craven the hunter is going to be written by richard wank wank w-e-n-k wank wank whatever uh that guy richard w uh who also wrote Equalizer 2, so he's got action behind him, but not really superheroes, so it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Uh, Craven the Hunter, I, I mean, I feel like anyone in approximately my age group, if you watched the 90s Spider-Man cartoon, right there with X-Men and Ninja Turtles and such, if you watched the 90s Spider-Man cartoon, then you should know Craven the Hunter, and like... I didn't realize that he was specifically in the umbrella of Spider-Man, which is why Sony can make a movie with him, but apparently he is, and they are, and I just don't know if this is one of the best Spider-Villains to be making a movie about. Uh, I, 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 again, I don't read a whole lot of Spider-Man, so I, I could just not be well informed, but I don't know of him being a mighty foe in the terms, in, in the Spider-Verse, so, good luck? I don't know, I, we're gonna move on to the next bit of news, and the next bit of news is actually Silver and Black, which has been on again and off again, and actually has kind of been off again for the last little while, but not really, because uh, the the producer or the writer is st and director is still trying to get it made. But it was announced this week that it is officially not going to happen. But instead, each character, Silver Sable and Black Cat, is going to get her own movie. And the writer director, I did I. Did I write down her name? I, of course I didn't. Why would I do that? I'll just put it on the screen right there. There you go. That's her name. Uh, she, She's not going to be writer-director, but she's still going to be executive producer on both movies. So I just... I, they're really... They're putting a whole lot... None of this works. Absolutely none of this works if Venom flops. 
nobody is going to see these movies if Venom's no good. And one big telling thing about the potential success of Venom is, is Spider-Man going to be involved with the story? Uh, we have definite reason to believe that Spider-Man will be there in some form, but how involved with the story, how much of a linchpin is he to the overall everything that they're, they're banking on, uh, really, I feel like that's the biggest piece. If, if, if we don't get, if you don't satisfy the fans enough with the Spider-Man connection, even though Spider-Man is technically not going to be in any of these movies, he is the one linking uh, element be with them all. So that has to be addressed. And the best way to address that is Venom. And Venom, I mean, I, really, all of these Spider-Verse movies are absolutely praying that Venom does well. And... I don't know that it's going to do that well. It might do well enough to float another two movies behind it. One of those has to be a sequel to Venom, though. So really, you're only getting one movie behind Venom that, if Venom doesn't do exceptionally well, can possibly save this universe. And and we don't know. It's I hope it's the Night Watch just because I really want to see Spike Lee do a superhero uh, movie. But I just this is this is Sony wasting a lot of money in my in my eyes. Until we know what happens with Venom, why would you go forward on production on these very iffy choices? I just it just doesn't make any sense to me. But whatever. Last bit of Sony news is relatively minor, so we're going to leave this area pretty quickly. Marvel gave us the MCU. DC gave us the DCEU. Uh, Fox was smarter than to give us a silly abbreviation. But Sony, apparently, is not too smart to give us a silly abbreviation. Uh, they are now calling their universe, because we've been calling it the Spider-less universe, the Spider-Man adjacent universe, the almost Spider-verse, whatever. Um, Sony gave it, S-U-M-C is their acronym, Sony Universe of Marvel Characters, which, try saying that one three times fast. Does everything need an abbreviation? Is that just how the world works now? I feel like this is silly. It's getting a little ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, like I said, real small minor thing. So we're gonna move out of the Sony realm and get right back into where we wanna be, which is DC. No, I take that back. We don't wanna be in DC when we're talking movies, but we're gonna touch on it real quick. Uh, Birds of Prey, has been so we knew that there were a couple of scripts floating around um and each script had a very had varying cast the there were a few that were that were in all of the different variations um we do one of them has been chosen we don't know which one because we didn't actually have any privy information to what was in each individual script but one of them has been chosen because they announced the villain that they're going to be going up against, which is Black Mask. Black Mask is a great choice. Like, this is potentially going to be a good movie. Oh my god. Um, just, it's kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's a little weird to see Black Mask going up against not Batman. Um, but it's he's not really one of the great Batman villains, so giving a tertiary villain to the to the potentially crap movie kind of makes sense to me and he's he's a strong enough villain that he could make that more compelling like give us more of a reason to go see this movie uh, I, I feel like there is potential there because it's not going to be a, 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 alongside Batman that you can flex that muscle a, a little differently and, and get away with it. And I feel like that's part of what DC needs is to find ways to, <clears throat> to give us these characters in a way that's 
paying homage to the origin, but still kind of breathing new life into the lesser known ones. Um, because the big known ones, you're, it's going to be very difficult to make everybody, to make most people happy because apparently DC just wants to go crazy when they're talking villains. I, but I, again, I feel like Black Mask is not just interesting, but potentially a good choice for villain for the Birds of Prey movie. Uh, but uh, again, we won't know that until it comes out and it's not going to be out probably until 2020 maybe even 2021 just because we just have a script now we're not even into casting let alone pre-production uh actually pre-production is probably moving forward right now so that's about the stage that we're in uh looking for locations and so on and so forth so now the last bit of news is kind of an update from our last movies episode oh no no we got one more thing and then we'll get to that update so uh, th this and this is a real quick one. We're in the area of Fox movies. We are getting three new animated Fox movies. One of them being The Simpsons. We're getting a sequel to The Simpsons movie that came out years ago. Uh, we are getting a Family Guy movie, which not a whole lot. Uh, I couldn't find much about that aside from the fact that it is underway and also Bob's Burgers is getting a big screen adaptation. So I, and I feel like one of those had live action elements. It was either Family Guy or Bob's Burgers. I can't remember which, um, because I only saw it on one source, so I didn't take it as gospel. So if you know, if, I mean, if you've seen from from somewhere other than, I don't remember what the source was. So if you've seen it somewhere that one of those two movies is going to be live action to some degree, then let me know because I, I, I don't think that's, I don't think that's a good idea. So I think that might be why I ignored it. But I've, I, I feel like I did hear on one of my sources that either Family Guy or Bob's Burgers is going to incorporate live action somehow. But it didn't say the whole movie was going to be live action. So again, very interesting choice. Um, and something to consider, and this leads us into our last bit that I started talking about a moment ago. Um, Fox is just moving along without really worrying about Disney taking over. Because until it's done... They can't, they, they would be stupid to stop making movies because that's what pays their bills. That's how they make a living. So I, I don't understand why everybody's so paranoid about Fox making movies. And Disney just said that whatever is currently in production by the time the deal is 100% complete, they will allow to finish and be released. And if it's about to be released, they're not going to cancel it. However, and this is, again, this is the update from two weeks ago when we talked about this last. Um, nothing that is in production currently or at the time is in production will be canceled. But if there is a planned sequel, like, say, maybe for Dark Phoenix, if that is not in production by the time Disney takes over, then there is a pretty decent I don't, i'm not gonna say strong but a decent possibility that it will get canned um if if fox can pull their head out of their butts and give us a good x-men movie with this dark phoenix movie which again the potential exists i just don't think it's going to be realized um it's because they just go for popcorn fodder they don't go for substance they don't give you i mean in Age of Apocalypse, Magneto is more powerful than Apocalypse. How much sense does that make? Zero. Anyway, sorry. Bird walking. It's what we do, right? Uh, so yeah, nothing is going to be canceled if it is in production. But if it is planned for, fu for future sequels, those sequels will potentially be canned. So that is where that sits. And that is where we are ending this week's movies episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end what did i miss what should we talk about next week let me know in the comments down low if though you want to go deeper into the conversation jump over to the website generallynerdy.net that is the place to get all of the things and the stuff anything to do with generally nerdy 
you can find it there on the website, generallynerdy.net. Social media, stores, all of that stuff is up on generallynerdy.net. Or if you want to support the channel a little more directly, then jump over to the Patreon, patreon.com slash generallynerdy. That is the place to go to support the channel. There are four tiers. The lowest tier is just a dollar. And really, you get almost twice the content for just that dollar. So go check it out. Patreon.com slash Generally Nerdy. All of the links, as always, are also down in the description. So if you can't understand what I'm saying because I speak too fast, then just click the link in the description. If you are brand new to this channel, please subscribe. Click that subscribe button. If you like this episode, click the like button. If you are falling behind on your nerd news and you want to catch up, then click or tap that box right there to the left of my face to do that. But before we go, guys, before we do any of the things, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here.